Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a term that has the world on edge that has revealed its ugly head in almost every major election in the past few years. And that has technology companies scrambling for a solution. Yes. Today we're going to be talking about fake news. Fake news. Fake news. From India to the US, fake news has become almost a universal pest, but with grave consequences. From WhatsApp forwards leading to lynching, to misinformation on social media threatening democratic elections, the, this problem of fake news has really shown us one how manipulative we can be, and two how gullible. So keeping that in mind. Here are four things about fake news that we should all be aware of. Number one, fake news has economic incentives, not just political. Okay, get this. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, the locals, mainly teenagers from a small town in Macedonia, had launched about 140 U.S. political news websites, and these were mainly targeted. towards conservatives and trump supporters in the us but why well by posting absolutely false and sensationalist news they were able to generate a good amount of money through click based ad revenue they were essentially duping conservatives in the us through their smartphones all the way in macedonia and the most important part is that when they were interviewed They admitted to not caring about Trump or the U.S. or anything. Instead, this was just their ticket to a better lifestyle. Number two, false information travels six times faster than genuine news. In 2018, three MIT scholars had studied the distribution of rumors on Twitter, and the results were astounding. They found that false news was 70 percent more likely to be retweeted than true information. And what's more is that true information took six times longer to reach the target group of 1,500 people when compared to false news. And while true information rarely crosses the reach of about 1,000 people, false information, at least the most popular one, reached up to a lakh. Given these numbers, is it possible that we, on average, consume more false information than true? when we're scrolling on social media well it's certainly something to think about number 3 maybe fake news is not about fighting over the truth but about power mike anani a media professor at the university of southern california says that fake news is evidence of a social phenomenon at play basically it's a struggle between how different people envision what kind of world they want Well, isn't that true? Let's take the case of vaccines. A certain section of society wanted to believe that vaccines were responsible for autism in children. Absolutely false. So what did they do? They published a bunch of pseudoscientific and baseless articles all over the internet. And with the help of micro-targeting based on social media and other advertisements, they were able to find individuals with similar false beliefs. So in a way they started sowing the seed of doubt of the scientific institution and community. In this case, fake news was just a powerful tool to help convince people of a completely false reality. Number 4, repetition solidifies fake content. Maria Kornikova for an article in the Politico wrote, "When we are overwhelmed with false or potentially false statements, our brains pretty quickly become so overworked that we stop trying to sift through everything simply put say a lie enough number of times and people will think it to be true it's an old saying with completely new consequences in the digital age why this might indicate that fact checking although a vital tool in journalism might not be enough to combat the issue of fake news In fact, by just stating that this is true or this is false, we might be amplifying the reach of this type of content to a completely different audience. 
So instead, we might have to take a different approach. One could be not just stating that this is correct or incorrect, but also giving a plausible story behind it. And second is reaching the target audience before the fake content does. 